<clears throat> What's going on, guys? Uh, welcome back to Network Chuck. Yep. So first off, thanks guys for um, everyone who entered the contest. Uh, again, congrats to uh, Jads for winning that contest, the CCMP giveaway. I will be doing a CCNA giveaway soon, so be looking out for that. And that's also through INE. Now with this being Memorial Day weekend, and uh, it being a long weekend, I wanted to cover something cool. But first off, with it being Memorial Day weekend, um, obviously, thanks to all the soldiers and the families of soldiers who have fallen, uh, we wouldn't be here without them. And that's true for any other, any country, wherever you're from. Um, our societies have been built by the guys who fight for us on the front lines. All right, so being a long weekend, sometimes these long weekends can totally derail your study schedule. Um, that happens with me often, especially holiday weekends because you usually have them booked up for family events. Uh, you might go on vacation, you might have uh, several get-togethers like me. This entire weekend has been booked. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Every single day I have something going on. For me, something I've done is I try to study while I'm at these family gatherings. So I either go to my in-law's house or my parents' house. And we're all having a good time, playing with the kids, playing games. But I try to steal away some time to study. Now, why do I do this? Because you're probably like, Chuck, it's family time. Just take a break. Yeah, I agree. But oftentimes... That really, really derails my study schedule. If I have an exam scheduled, I can't afford an entire weekend, especially a three-day weekend where I don't study. And these family gatherings are long. I'll be there all day. So I have to find just a little bit of time to steal away and review my topics, study. Uh, so I wanted to cover just five tips on studying at a family get-together or a holiday get-together. And uh, here we go. All right, so the first one, set the precedent. Let your family know. Uh, you don't want to be that guy who shows up and then disappears and they're like, okay, where did Chuck go? We're supposed to be hanging out and playing dominoes. Where, where did he go? Let your family know that you have a very important exam coming up. Uh, it's great for your career and you can't afford a day where you can't at least do a little bit of study. You got to explain to them that keeping up your momentum and your discipline is extremely important for your progress. Also let them know that spending time with them during the holiday weekend is your priority but you need just a little bit of time to study. And this is significantly easier when you are using the Pomodoro method because you can plan out, I'm gonna do two very focused Pomodoro sessions. If you don't know what that is, I've got a video show uh, some study tips on how to, how to study for your CCNA, CCMP. I mentioned this method. You do 25 minutes focused study sessions and then take like a five minute break and, and do it again. Um, so you can say, you know what, family, uh, I'm going to do two very focused 25-minute study sessions and then my time is yours. At least on that day, you've, you've got some study done. Tip two, decide what you're going to study beforehand. This is vital. Uh, oftentimes, I'll, I'll bring my huge CCNA route or CCMP route book to a, a family uh, hangout. I'll bust it open at the table. I'm determined just to do a little bit of study. And then I'm like, ah, I'm not really sure what I want to study right now. I'll think about it for a while. It kind of just the thought makes me tired and I end up not doing it. I wasn't prepared and that's happened to me so many times. So do yourself a favor, think about what you can do at this gathering. So it may be a complete situation of chaos. You may be going out somewhere, going out to eat. You may be somewhere where you're, you're not at your house, it's at someone else's house and you don't know if you'll be able to go somewhere secluded to study. So you gotta figure out what you can actually do because you may not be able to Seclude yourself to a quiet room and, and bust out a few INE videos on your laptop. I know for me, sometimes I just have to sit in a secluded corner off to the side where, uh, where everyone's just kind of hanging out and go through some flashcards on Anki. So plan out what you're going to do, whether it's going to be going through your flashcards for that day. If you're using the um, space repetition method, it's vitally important you hit your flashcards every single day with Anki. Or I think Quizlet does this now too. Or if you or if you plan to read a few chapters of your book, or if you if you plan to just watch a few videos on your phone, or what have you, just plan it out. Set your goal. That way you're you're not like spending too much time trying to figure it out. Okay, so step three. Obviously, bring your tools. At the least, make sure you have your phone and you have your charger. Because if you're using your phone for study, whether you're watching a video or you're going through flashcards, you're going to use up more battery. So make sure you have a charging cable. 
And this step is extremely important. If you do plan on bringing your laptop or your, or your bag with you with all your study material, make sure you bring it in with you when you walk into wherever you're going. The times I plan to study at a gathering and I've left my stuff in the car, I didn't study. I just didn't do it because I thought, okay, I'm going to study now, but uh, it's, it's in the car. Eh, I'll just, I'll just not do it today. You want to remove all those barriers because those little things will get in the way. Make it as easy as you can to study. Set it up for yourself. Bring it in, set it into place, get ready. So tip four, and this is vital because without this, I will never study during a gathering. You need to set a reminder to study because I know, um, and I can't tell you how many times this has happened to me. I'll be at a family gathering. I plan to study. I just forget. It, it doesn't happen. I, we're having fun, playing games, or it's kind of chaotic. I don't remember. Before I know, it's time to go. It's the end of the day. I'm exhausted. No study is going to happen the rest of the day. And nothing happened. So what I do is I, I bust out to-doist. I um, set a quick reminder, hey, study this topic at this time. So I'll pick a time where I think it might be a lull and what's, whatever's happening in the family gathering, whether it's after lunch or um, it's after an activity or something. Uh, and I kind of plan ahead and set a reminder so I get a notification saying, hey, do a quick study session and I'll try to seclude myself and do it real quick. If I can't do it at that time when I get the notification, I'll reschedule the reminder. Say, well, let's, let's check it out in another hour and see how busy I am. And tip five, and this one's really important too, make it quick. Make it a quick study session because it is family time. Once I do get into study mode, uh, it's hard to get out. And sometimes you're, you're going through a few videos, you're in topics, and you just keep going and you kind of just are in that zone. So honestly, a couple hours could fly by and people are like, where did, where did Chuck go? <laughs> so limit yourself to like an hour, hour and a half, depending on you know what your situation is. Sometimes you can study more if like the kid is going down for a nap or people are napping or whatever, if they're going out doing something and you're staying back. But usually it's, you're hanging out, you're in the chaos, you're, you're doing stuff. Try to limit your study to an hour. That's usually two two Pomodoro sessions, maybe three. So why that amount of time or why why schedule yourself at a specific small interval? It's easier to justify to your family, uh, especially to your wife, that hey, I, I'm valuing and, I, and I'm, I'm prioritizing family, family time, but I also need to study, so I'm gonna study for this amount of time and then the rest of my time is yours. And it's also enough time where you can actually do some good solid study. Now, yeah, you're not going to master subnetting or, or master spanning tree in that amount of time, but it's enough time for you to really cement like an idea or a topic into your head or really go over some topics or go through your SRS, um, your space repetition stuff and, and, and you actually do something or watch a few INE videos and take some notes and have some good study time. So that's, that's it guys, uh, five tips on how to quickly um, study f uh, during a family gathering. It's hard, it really is, and the only reason I mention this, because I, I hate to, I thought about making this video and I thought maybe I shouldn't do that because I want you guys to take breaks and spend time with family. But sometimes, especially during the summer or on the holidays, your study time window shrinks because you're doing so many family activities, but you have an exam scheduled, you have to, you have to study, so you have to find time. You have to make time, carve out time in your schedule. Oftentimes it's gonna be in the midst of a family gathering. So. These are some of, the, that's some of the things I think about and I try to do whenever I have something going on. Today, I'm doing that. So I'm gonna have to set time for myself. I'm gonna schedule a time, schedule a reminder, pick out what I'm doing, bring my tools, and I'm gonna, set a, I'm gonna study. Um, and I have a very busy day today. So studying is extremely important. You can't undervalue that. Um, you have to treat your CCNA or, or your, your CCMP studies like you're actually in school. You have deadlines. If you don't do this, you, you fail, you don't succeed, you don't keep going, progressing in your life and your career. So make it a priority, because if you don't, something else will take place. It really will. So again, enjoy time with your family, take a break. If you've been studying like a madman and you need the break, don't study during the weekend, relax. But if you wanna keep your, but if you are on a, have a momentum and you wanna keep your schedule going, your test is looming, and you, can see, and you really need to, to get the topics down, take some time, study, feel good about it, and, but also make time for your family. Well guys, that's about it. I so appreciate uh, all the subscribers coming up, all the comments. You guys encourage me and it really helps me to keep studying. Um, I've been going through a slump lately with all the changes in my life and I'm really trying to dig down deep and, and, and get the studying going. So thanks for the encouragement. I'm hoping this channel can be an encouragement to you as well. 
Um, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Network Chuck, like this video. Uh, if you're just getting started with your CCNA or your CCMP, hit up my website, networkchuck.com, for any resources. And um, that's about it. Let's get certified together, guys. Let's keep going. Let's advance our careers, make our family lives better, make our lives better. Catch you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,